let's do this. What's your name? Dia Shabuna. Spell that for me. D E A S I A B R O N A U G H. All right. Mom, Tina. Tina Bruno, T-I-N-A-B-R-O-N-A-U-G-H. Destiny Bruno, D-E-S-T-I-N-I-B-R-O-N-A-U-G-H. All right. Just kind of start from the beginning. Tell me where we're at now and, and how how we got to the point where I'm in your house with a camera. Okay. Um, the, I would like to just clear the air. Um about the incident that happened. Look at me, ignore the camera. I would like to clear the air about the incident that happened in front of Collinwood on Thursday. These are my two daughters that were involved in the incident. First of all, I would like people to know that they weren't fighting. They were holding each other. Holding on to each other because once they let go, they knew what was going to happen to them. Um, if I beat my children like this, I would be arrested by these same officers. But they can beat my children and it's justified. Um, no one from uh, Cleveland Public Schools has called me to even let me know that my children were arrested. They call me and ask me permission for my children to go home and change shoes. But no one has called and asked me or told me anything about the protests or that they were even arrested to this day. Um, the conduct of the police, I'm outraged. I'm hurt. I'm angry. I'm angry at the Cleveland Public School District for even letting DeAsia out of the school. She's 16 years old. If she was going to be outside protesting, I should have known about it. Someone should have called me and let me know your 16-year-old daughter is outside protesting. I feel like the school responsibility here is big. Um, the behavior of the police officers. There was a scene in the video where the two girls were against the car, hands behind their back. You can hear my daughter Destiny say, I'm against the car. I got my hands behind my back. Why weren't, why weren't, the, cu why weren't the cuffs clicked on them right then and there and the incident could have been avoided? It went too far. You know, uh, the pause there, you see the girls still ready to be arrested and all of a sudden you see chaos. That is because they were bending their arms and choking them. Had they arrested them right then, put the cuffs on them, put them in the car, this wouldn't have happened. Um, you guys were already in school for the day, is that? Yes. How did you guys end up outside? Um, all the kids, while uh, we was in class and stuff, they was talking about the protest. And when, by the time we got ready to leave out, they had a certain time that the protest was going to happen, everything. The whole, it was a lot of kids that was supposed to leave out, but it was only a few kids that did leave out. But it was teachers and security guards downstairs, right by the front door, the door we left out of. They didn't try to stop us. And they, some teachers was actually ruling us on because I guess they thought it was a good cause while we was doing it, too. Why do it? Um... A lot of teachers got laid off, and our, a lot of our favorite teachers, the ones that really care. Right, and um, teachers, they help us, like, with the OGTs and stuff, and we need more books in our school and stuff. Our books messed up, writing and um, game-related stuff in them, and we was just trying to... That was our cause. That's right. why we was out there. Um, so, I'm trying to... I've seen the video, but I haven't really paid much attention to what's going on. Basically, you guys were outside. They told you guys to disperse or whatever, and you guys... We even tried to go back into school. We tried to walk in with our teacher, but they told us don't come back in. We walked out. It's too late. So then the confrontation happened, and, and you said you guys were hugging each other. What? Take me through that a little bit. Um, I grabbed my sister because the officer... 
he grabbed her aggressive, and I tried to tell him, like, she with me, and I'm 19 years old. And then he was like, no, let her go, let her go. And I was trying to tell him, like, she's with me. And, and it seemed like he, the way he was coming at me, he came at me real aggressive. Like, if he was going to, even if he did ask me the question that he was going to ask me, he was still going to grab me. Like, he was just coming at me real aggressive. So I was, I was scared, and I didn't know what to do because, I don't know, I was scared. Um, when, when did, I guess this is more for mom here. When did you see the video, or, or how did you how did you learn about all of this? Uh, I got a call at work, and uh, it was from the kids' friends. Start calling first. Never did I get a call from the school. Um, I left work, came home, got another call. To uh, the video was on YouTube. Got on YouTube, saw the video, flipped out. Went immediately up to Fifth Ditch District Police Station. Uh, got the paperwork to file the report, and I just, I just couldn't believe it. So you, you, you said you flipped out. I, I can't imagine going to YouTube. I mean, you know something happened. Right. But you had no idea what exactly it was. No. So you see this takedown. What's, what? All I could do was, uh, I screamed, I cried. I wanted to, to find my kids. I wanted to make sure they were all right. Uh, the hold that the officer put on Destiny, it could have killed her. I'm in the medical field. She has asthma. She's on an inhaler. That move could have killed her. If she would have been killed, this would have been justified, I believe. Uh, they beat our kids, it's justified. They shoot our pets, it's justified. Uh, you know, uh, there's a young woman laying on the side of the freeway. It's a deer, it's justified. You know, this has got to stop. This has got to stop. You know, and I want everyone to know that my daughters were, did not kick the officers. They slammed them so hard that their feet went up in the air. That's what you saw. They did not kick an officer at any time. How, um, how quickly did this all, like you guys walked out within 10 minutes, 15 minutes, or was it? Yeah, about 15, 20 minutes. That's when the police um, This happened around 10.30, and we probably got to the police station by 11. So... It's almost as if the school called the police right away, or, or there's an officer in it the was, school. It, it was. I saw time. several officers right. standing. There, there was definitely more than there should have been. There was backup call or whatever. Right. It looks like. Um, I want to know what kind of sensitivity training that these officers have because my girls weigh 130 pounds each, and um, for them to beat them like men is that it was uncalled for it was unnecessary and it was also a time when one of the principals came out with a a cell phone video recording why were he in the school calling the kids parents or letting their parents know what was going on he's outside videotaping but he's not doing his job or what he needs to be doing if you knew this protest was going on and you have kids from the school going outside. Why isn't there any security or upper heads at the door to check these kids? I heard the officer uh, grabbing Asia saying, how old are you? How old are you? Somebody should have found out how old she was before she walked out that school door. I, 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 the Cleveland public school system has a lot to blame here. Um, I gotta ask you, your kids walked out of school to protest something. Good cause, bad cause. Are you upset with them for even getting involved in this, or is this? I'm upset with my girls. And I let them know that using profanity uh, against an officer, that was wrong. You know, I let them know that was wrong. That was where you went wrong. But I, I don't see where they should have been beat down in the street like men. Yeah. It was uncalled for and it was unnecessary. Um, where are you at now with the police? Are they, 
are they looking into it or are they basically ignoring it back? Well, we have an attorney and he's handling that part of it. Yeah. So you're you're just starting the process. At yes. Point. Okay. Um, You guys still back at school? You expelled? We're going back to school um, tomorrow. Yeah. Um, me and my mom went up there and they, they was kind of like looking at us funny, but I had went up there to drop something off. And I know it's like the security guards was kind of like following us. I haven't, I haven't got a chance to speak to, to anyone from the school. Right. And when I went up there, I didn't stay a whole day. I just went up there to bring something. But it, I, don't, I don't know what's going on with school so far though. Yeah. So you guys are going to go tomorrow and yes. Just yes. see what happens. Yes, yes they'll be there. Yeah. Um, what's, you guys both go to Collinwood. That's, yes. Okay. yes. All right, so it's, and what's going on there is they're not closing it or anything. It's more of a layoff situation. Yeah. Okay. All right. And I also want people to know my girls are not bad kids. Uh, Destiny's graduating on her way to the Navy. You know, DeAsia, she, she's, she's doing good. You know, and, and, they're not bad kids. And also the school had knew about the protest, I guess, the day before because I heard that they had called the boy in that was starting the protest and was telling him that he could he wasn't I don't know if he could um I don't know what they was telling him, I really don't know what they're telling him, but they had talked about the with the boy before I had heard from my friends because you I heard that they were saying he was gonna get expelled if he started. Yeah, because I didn't attend school that day. Yeah. So if they had already knew, why wasn't they trying to prevent this from happening? Yeah. All right. I'm gonna get a couple of shots. You guys hold hands here real quick. Um, anything I missed that you wanna touch on? I mean, I think we're kind of think pretty much said everything in that in your opening statement. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Have you talked to anybody else?